The output of the simple half-wave rectifier circuit is certainly DC because it never crosses the zero line. The polarity remains fixed, unlike the input waveform that crosses the zero line, which is AC. However, we have a major problem with this type of waveform in the sense that we have large periods of time where we have no output voltage at all. This type of waveform is called pulsating DC. I've added a capacitor in an attempt to smooth out the voltage variations when the diode is off. We have this 100 microfarad capacitor across the load. This is called a capacitor filter. Let's try it out in transient simulation. I have the simulation set for 1 60th of real-time speed. So we'll turn that on and we'll see that the lamp is still flashing about once per second but the lamp never actually goes white. It just kind of goes a darker yellow. So it doesn't actually turn off because the capacitor is providing some energy to the lamp. Let's take a look at this circuit in analysis mode. I'll select a transient analysis with 0 to 50 milliseconds and 0 initial values. And here's our output. If we look at the legend, we can see that the load voltage is shown here in red. The load voltage is the same thing as the capacitor voltage. What we're looking at here is a capacitor discharge, followed by a capacitor charge, followed by a capacitor discharge. So this is the up and down flickering type voltage that you see on the bulb. We'll take a look at this in more detail with some slides in the next section. At power up, the capacitor is at zero volts. The positive side of the diode is positive relative to the capacitor, allowing current to flow into the load. Charge also flows onto the plates of the capacitor, causing it to charge. The capacitor and the load reach a peak voltage that is one diode drop less than the peak voltage of the source. Note that the load voltage and the capacitor voltage are identical because they are in parallel with each other. When the source voltage is less than one diode drop above the capacitor voltage, the diode turns off or becomes reverse biased. The capacitor starts to discharge through the load. When the capacitor voltage falls one diode drop below the source voltage, the diode turns on again. The capacitor starts to charge and the load voltage starts to increase. Charge flows from the source to the capacitor. Current also flows into the load. The capacitor and the load reach a peak voltage that is one diode drop less than the peak voltage of the source. As the source voltage decreases, the diode turns off again, and the capacitor begins to discharge through the load. The cycle continues to repeat. If we take a look at our simulation, we can see that our bulb is still pulsating quite a bit. It's not turning off, but this is certainly not flat DC. We can improve this pulsation situation by increasing the capacitor. I'll take this from 100 microfarads to 10,000 microfarads. And let's run our simulation again. And we can't see any type of flickering in the bulb. And the voltage here is varying between 9 and a quarter and 9.18. Let's take a look at our 10,000 microfarad circuit in analysis mode. We'll select a transient analysis with 0 to 50 milliseconds. And we can see that the capacitor voltage or the load voltage barely declines between the positive cycles of the source. I'll go and select the cursor tool and we'll look at the peak value that we get. The Y value is about 9.3 and if we go along it declines very little declines to about 9.2. So we have about 0.1 volt decline between the peaks. 
This decline in voltage is called a ripple voltage. And the more ripple you have, the less stable your supply is. So this is pretty good, 0.1 volt ripple. We know that increasing the size of the capacitor gives us less ripple voltage. We have a smoother voltage available to our bulb. What happens when we change the size of the load? I'll look at the properties of the bulb. We have a power property here. I'll set the power property to 10 watts from 1 watt. Effectively, what I'm doing is I'm decreasing the resistance of the bulb by a factor of 10. So we'll go and we'll run an analysis, transient, 0 to 50 milliseconds. And we can see that our ripple voltage has increased quite a bit when we increase the size of the load. When we look at this area between the positive peaks, what we're looking at is a capacitor discharge. Capacitor discharge is governed by RC time constant. When we increase the C, we put in a bigger capacitor, we had a longer time constant, and therefore in the same amount of time, there was less discharge and less ripple. When we increase the load, we're decreasing R. With less resistance, the time constant is shorter, and during the same amount of time, we get more discharge and more ripple.